Hey guys, <coughs> what is up? That's me, Fortnite 3 today, back with another video. Today's video, what I got for you guys, is some more news. Uh, for Call of Duty World War 2, I know, I'm not normally a news channel, but I think I gained like two or three subscribers from this video. That's not why I'm doing it. But as I logged into um, Gmail, my computer today, I noticed I had like two or three comments on my last World War 2 video, and I was like, pretty fucking awesome, man. I gotta be honest, yeah. So I thank all of you guys, even if you just, even if you didn't subscribe, even for just commenting or liking, and even for just watching, even if you dislike it, you know, you know, you viewed the video, so I'm cool with that. <laughs> but uh, today in the background, I got some gameplay of me, and my friend Sebastian, pretty much going off. He only got like a 1.30 KD, but I got a 2.56, uh, something like that. I don't remember. I was, I don't really keep count of like KD shit. But, uh, when I go out with, like, the XMR and shit, I just completely go off, because for some reason, the XMR is, like, broken when it comes to, like, Juggernaut, but I'm perfectly okay with that, because although some people think it makes it a bit of a newbie weapon to use, I don't, because it's a newbie thing to use Juggernaut. I don't use Juggernaut, uh, almost ever. In some cases, I do. If I'm new to a weapon, I use Juggernaut, because I want to get a feel for it. I want to make sure that... I know how to use the weapon and see how it works. But anyway, without further ado, today, I think it was yesterday actually, I don't know, today or yesterday, basically, I think it was in Australia, um, some guy basically went to GameStop and he noticed that actually World War II was at GameStop or something like that. I don't know what the store was, I think it was in Australia and I think the store was GameStop or something. And there was, a, there was like a poster or a box or something that was made for Call of Duty World War Two, and when I heard about this, I was like, holy shit, I have to get on this, and basically, um, basically, I, so I tried to find out what the hell this was all about, and it took me a while to actually find out to look up Call of Duty World War Two beta, because that was like the biggest news everyone was hyped about, uh, which is confirmed, I'm gonna put a picture up on the screen right now, so you guys confirm, because I know. Everybody's so fucking about it, but uh, yeah, as you can see from that picture there, it's confirmed. Um, Call of Duty World War Two beta, but um, on to the next thing. Actually, the next thing I want to talk about is, as you can see from the picture that I'm about to put on the screen right now, somebody actually found the details in a a box or something. I think at Best Buy uh, that wasn't supposed to be out yet. You know, as you guys know. They, everyone, uh, everyone accidentally, uh, you know, accidentally reveals something, you know, because it's not like every year this happens for every game that's even a little bit important, because everyone, like, it's, it's obvious that everyone, or at least most people, would do this on purpose. Maybe not this guy in particular, because he probably wouldn't want to lose his job, but... Let's be honest, most people leak it, like, on purpose, if it's, like, the kind of thing that you leak on purpose. That's usually what people do. But, um, one thing I do have to say here is I'm pretty hyped for it, so we're gonna, we're gonna start reading the details right now. So, the details re So the first part of the caption reads, Call of, Duty's, Call of Duty returns to its roots with Call of Duty World War II. A breathtaking experience that redefines World War II for a new gaming generation. Land in Normandy on D-Day and battle across Europe through iconic locations in history's most monumental war. Experience classic Cold Duty combat, the bonds of camaraderie, and the unforgiving nature of war against a global power, throwing the world into tyranny. So that sounds pretty good. Uh, it sounds kind of like what you would expect, to be honest, which I think is awesome, to be honest. Um, but yeah, the next part, actually, uh, sorry, the next part is the definitive World War Two campaign, which reads, Call of Duty World War Two tells the story of an unbreakable brotherhood of common men fighting to preserve freedom in a world uh, on the brink of tyranny. Players enlist in a gritty, intense journey uh, through the battlegrounds of war. The campaign features bold, lifelike visuals with a kind of blockbuster cinematic authenticity that only Call of Duty can deliver. As you guys know, the boots on the ground cards were like the best cards, so, you know, 
it's obvious that I think they're going to do a really good job um, on that. But anyway, on to the, uh, well, let me just say something for a second. Personally, I think this is going to be a, a good idea with what they're doing with the storyline. Because, to me personally, I feel like it's going to be like, like all the people in the game, not just the person you're playing as, but your your friends. I think it would be like three other players from like the main picture that, that everyone sees because there's like people you can see through the soldier's eyes in the original picture. I think it's going to be like a, a man and like three of his friends and they're basically going to be an unbreakable, they're going to have an unbreakable bond of friendship and maybe one or two of them will die or something and you know, the war will be over or something, not exactly sure. Anyway, the next uh, part of, the next part is Boots on the Ground multiplayer which reads, Call of Duty, a World War II multiplayer engages players in grounded as you can see, it said boots on the ground, multiplayer. Uh, a grounded, fast-paced combat across many of World War II's most iconic locations. Players will also enjoy exciting new ways to interact and socialize with their friends in the Call of Duty community. Now, here's what I'm thinking. I liked the sound of the multiplayer. It sounded pretty good, obviously, and I can't wait to check it out. But one of the things that I liked the most was exciting new ways to interact and socialize with friends and the Call of Duty community. So what I'm thinking is maybe there'll be groups or like group chats or, or maybe ways to text other people in-game without actually having to go to the PlayStation screen and stuff. And I think that would be really cool and I'd love to see like a community hub area where you could check out whatever's new uh, in the Call of Duty community as well as in-game messaging, in-game group chats of like you know, maybe a newsletter, but all inside the game, and I feel like that would be amazing to see, and I'm really hyped for that, to see whatever the hell that means, anyway. But the next and final area, which I think a lot of people will like, is called High Octane Cooperative. Now, here's the thing. For the last five years, we have had basically zombies. Now, I know people will say it differs because... Black Ops 3, Infinite Warfare, and Black Ops 2 had zombies, but the two games in between Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3 were Call of Duty Ghost and Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, but Advanced Warfare had exo-zombies, and Ghost had Extinction, which was basically zombies, except the zombies were, they could, like, fly and stuff, and they were freaking aliens, and it was called Extinction, but basically, we've all had, you know, the same over and over for the last five years, we've had you know, survival modes with hordes of zombies, freaking exo zombies, freaking retarded zombies, I don't know, and like, and aliens and shit, so, personally to me, it's nice to see a change in something like that, it's nice to see that instead of going to the zombies where like every Call of Duty has for the last five years, they're finally going to be going into something different, like high octane cooperative, but anyway, high, t uh, high octane uh, cooperative reads, play Call of Duty World War II's cooperative uh, mode, uh, unleashes a new and original story, play with your friends in the next level standalone game experience full of unexpected adrenaline pumping moments. Now obviously we can't get much from this, but one thing that we can get from this is cooperative mode unleashes a new and original story. Now. For all of you guys that don't know, a story can also be called a campaign. So, what I'm thinking, <laughs> what I'm thinking is maybe what they're going to be doing is the cooperative is going to be like a small chunk of the campaign, but its own story. It's not going to be part of the campaign, it's going to be separate, but it's going to be like half as big or a quarter as big as the campaign. And it won't be like a survival, have like, you know, fully fledged, like, single player feel to it, it'll ha feel like a campaign, it won't feel like multiplayer, it won't be a survival, but at the same time, it won't be multiplayer, it will be like a little bit in the middle, it'll be like you're playing campaign, except it's not the same in any way as campaign, uh, in other words, it's its own campaign, Co cooperative is its own campaign, it has nothing to do with the 
definitive World War Two campaign that's in the game by itself. It is basically set to be played purposefully with other friends. And I don't know, I just find that really cool. You know, I can't wait I can ah, I cannot wait to uh check out all of these game modes. They all look pretty cool. I also like the art uh, a little bit below that. But yeah, I think that's basically everything. All the news that got dropped yesterday or today or something. And uh yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I mean I cannot wait to play Call of Duty World War Two. It's it's gonna be really fun guys. I'm really I'm really hyped for it and all that. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Uh as I said, hope you enjoyed it. If uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share all those good things on my channel, girl. Without further ado, I think I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. If you wanna find any of my um any of my associated links or anything, you know, my social media and whatnot, they're all in the description, uh not in the description, sorry, in the channel I made in the description. And uh yeah, I think without further ado, I think I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Peace guys. Peace.